I claim we are actually trying to build three products simultaneously. Any sense of what the first product is? Claim three products we are trying to build. What's the first product? I'll start you off. The first product is the tech product, which is the more obvious thing, the products that we are all working on. So in a sense, so if you think of UPI as a product or mobile payments as a product, that's the product you're working on. And you may individually in your own capacities or through the organizations that you're working with, working on some product or the other. So when I said there are only three products, you're like, hang on here, but all of us are representing some product or the other. Well, that is a bucket of products. Yeah, so I've started you off. So all the individual products that you're working on have already been covered in this bucket. If they've all been covered in this bucket, what are the remaining two products? Okay, I'll give you the second answer, but I'm not going to give you the third. Okay, here's the second one. The less obvious, that's the world that is shaped by the products that we actually build. So if you think of UPI, then UPI is the product that you built. But it's had another impact on the world, which is digitization which is the trust that it now gives in the Indian consumer. And the change in user behavior. Technology itself is very rarely revolutionary. What terms as revolutionary technology is when it changes user behavior, when it changes market equilibrium, when it changes the way we organize ourselves. Okay, now you have to answer the third one. What is the third product? The one you're kind of, either you're building or you want to build falls into bucket one. How it's going to impact the world is bucket two, what's left. You are the product you are always building. You are the product not some piece of technology that you're building. You are the product because the values that you have, what you believe in, will feed the culture of the organization you're with. That culture will feed the product, the tech product. That tech product will actually go ahead and feed the world. Yes? So, you are the product. If you don't believe in good things, how is your technology going to believe in good things? It's your values, it's your vision, which will not only influence the culture that you're in, the, 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 the organization you're in, or the team that you're in, or the startup that you might found, which then goes, and that culture and that values is what will feed the actual technology product, which in turn will feed the world.